I'm Andrew with Evermore Studio, and today I am making a battery ballast pouch for the Oculus Quest. One of the issues a lot of people have had with the Quest, and something that struck me immediately, is that it is a bit front heavy. If you are using your VR headset for very active games, especially exercise games, it can slip forward during play and really mess you up. There are a number of commercial solutions for this now, but I figured I could make something that would work pretty easily. By using a rechargeable battery pack for the ballast, I also have a source of extended power to keep playing longer than the internal battery will support. I ordered an inexpensive Anker battery pack that will power the Quest for several hours, and set out to make a nice pouch for it out of a laser-safe material often referred to as vegan leather. It also comes in several shades of brown, but I thought the black was a better match for the aesthetic of the Quest. I will have links to the battery pack and all of the materials for the pouch in the video description. I am also making the cutting pattern files available as a free download from the project post on the Evermore Studio site. I know that not everyone has a laser cutter available. If you don't have access to one, this material cuts easily with a craft knife and other inexpensive tools. After taking measurements of the battery and making a draft of the pattern in Inkscape, I cut a prototype out of plain printer paper. I taped it up, confirmed the battery fit, and that everything lined up. Obviously, I had to personalize this. This particular vegan leather is black, but laser engraved silver, which made it really easy to add one of my simple Celtic key pattern designs. If you make one, feel free to personalize it with your own design. Stitching up the sides was the most time-consuming part of this. It took about half an hour to do both sides. I will speed that up and add some jumps here to spare you the tedium. Practice leather workers will almost certainly be wincing at my saddle stitching here. This is the second thing I have ever saddle stitched. I think it came out okay, but if you're looking for leather working or saddle stitching tutorials, you probably want a different video. After getting everything stitched and tied off, I added the velcro for the flap closure. 
Since there is an opening in the pouch for the cable that both charges the battery and sends power out to the headset, this probably will not be opened and closed a lot. So I'm hoping that the adhesive backing on the Velcro will be enough to keep it attached and let me avoid having to mar the flap with stitching. After several weeks, it's still holding up great. I used a piece of green masking tape to mark where I wanted the flap to close. That let me line up the Velcro to get it in the right place on the first try. The adhesive on these sorts of things tends to activate on first contact and the bond weakens considerably if you have to reposition. The insert helps keep the pouch rigid against the back of the headset and reduces the strain on the leather to reduce the risk of tearing. I cut this from acrylic and glued a matching piece of the leather to the insert to provide a softer surface and a little traction against the battery. If you don't have access to a laser, you can cut this piece from acrylic or MDF using a jigsaw, coping saw, or other common cutting tools. I'm not sure the barge cement was the optimal choice here, but it seems to be holding up okay. The loop for attaching the pouch to the back of the Quest is just another piece of the same Velcro with the adhesive sides of the complementary pieces pushed together. I installed it with the fuzzy side out so that the stiffer side would not be against the back of my head. That's it for the final assembly. I got a one foot USB cable to connect it, but it turned out to be a couple of inches too short. For now I've looped up the excess of a 3.3 foot cable that works with the same magnetic system I am using to charge the headset. You can download the pattern to make your own battery pouch from the Evermore Studio site. Follow the link in the description below. If you found this entertaining, inspiring, or useful, click the like and subscribe to let me know I should keep making these videos. Comments and suggestions are welcome below. If you have an Oculus Quest, you might also enjoy my video about making a bent green glass acrylic wall mount for mine. Click on the end credits video or find the link below. Thanks for watching.